Hello and welcome to the first ever monthly Microsoft Masterclass from me, Mark Armstrong. Packed agenda today. We've got the new version of Teams to take a look at, the new version of Outlook to take a look at. We're going to look at Microsoft Copilot and what that is all about. And what will be a regular feature in these updates is a featured app. So within the featured app, what we'll do is we'll present an app that already exists within the Microsoft 365 space, but I don't think gets enough love and hopefully get more people using it. So Teams 2.0, the new version of Teams has been announced by Microsoft and it looks to be a really, really good update. Um, they've done a load of stuff in the under the hood. It's now going to be 50% faster than the current version of Teams. It's going to use half the resources of the current version of Teams and it's going to bring a lot more functionality to bear. Um, you can access it now. It is in early access. I probably wouldn't recommend it just yet. I'm not sure it's for the, they're ready for the big time, but it will be soon. It's going to encourage uh, use of a lot of kind of Microsoft tools that many people don't use enough of, things like Loop. But I think the main one is how it's going to make uh, collaboration across organizations much better. So if I'm working with an external company now, and they've created a team that I that I can join. No more do I have to switch between tenants and miss out on messages across the two. I will get it all within uh, the one version of Teams. So that alone is going to be a game changer for me. I'm expecting big things to come out of that over the coming coming months and years ahead. In a similar vein, Microsoft have also released a new version of Outlook Desktop, um, and it's essentially Outlook for the web on your desktop. So a massive departure from the current desktop version of Outlook. Um, and it, again, much like Teams 2.0, it's gonna add a whole new range of functionality features uh, to, the, to, the, um, to the application. But unlike Teams 2.0, I absolutely think this is, is something you should be looking at straight away. It's, it's really solid. Um, we've highlighted a few of the fit bits of functionality that are now in the new version of Outlook. I think the ones that I particularly find very useful are the ability to pin emails and the schedule when to send. Now you might be saying, well, I've always been able to schedule when I send an email and you kind of have. Um, you can have it sit in your outbox, but you had to have your computer on and, and running away in the background for that to then send at the right time. The schedule when to send in the new version of Outlook, you don't have to do that anymore. So it means that even if you're working late at night, you don't necessarily have to be bombarding your colleagues with emails at late at night. You can have them scheduled to send at a more pleasant hour in the day. Now, the final new application that's coming out of Microsoft very soon is Copilot. This isn't accessible to most organizations just yet, but it will be coming. No word on price yet. But I think the functionality is going to be out of this world. Um, as you may be aware, ChatGPT have had a huge investment from Microsoft. Microsoft now own a good, a good chunk of that business, and they're utilizing that technology in Copilot. So Copilot is essentially ChatGPT for your business. It can interrogate your business data and help you write reports and manage your day-to-day -day much in a much easier fashion. So the example that I've been trotting out is let's say I have a meeting in Teams, I take some notes at the same time, I record that meeting and I need to write a report off the back of it. Well, now I can get Copilot to do that. I just open up Word and I tell it to write me a report based on a previous report that I've done using my notes and using the recording in the meeting. And it will then be able to go out and do that. I think this is gonna be brilliant and can't wait to get my hands on it uh, when it comes out later in the year. And now onto our featured app, which this month is Bookings. So Bookings is free. It's part of the Microsoft 365 uh, pack. So not entirely free, but if you've got any sort of Microsoft 365 licensing that includes applications, you should have it. Um, and what it allows you to do is, is manage your calendar. So it removes, for me, one of the biggest bugbears, which is the back and forward I often have to do over email to find a time that works with an external uh, collaborator or customer. With bookings, no longer they have to do that. I can create my bookings page. We can see that the URL is up here. And then I can create a set of public meetings and a set of private meetings. When then someone clicks on my bookings link, which I, I share in my uh, email footer, they can select which type of meeting they want. They'll see all of my availability in the diary and they can book it. If I wanted to create a new type of meeting, I just click on the little plus sign and these are the options that I have. And I can do that with my personal world and across my team. And that's it. Thanks for listening.